This morning, the Board of Freeholders is proclaiming October as Domestic Violence Awareness Month here in Morris County. Domestic violence crosses economic, racial, gender, educational, religious, and societal barriers. It is a crime of violence that violates an individual's privacy, dignity, security, and humanity, and it destroys self-esteem. We're not immune to domestic violence here in Morris County, where 2,000 offenses are known to occur each year. But we know that represents just a fraction of the real situation, since most cases are not reported. Thankfully, we have a great team in place to handle those cases that we do know about, <clears throat> starting with the Morris County Prosecutor's Office and the Sheriff's Office. Also, JBWS is on the front line annually answering 5,000 helpline calls, providing 20,000 nights of emergency shelter and transitional housing, accompanying 1,100 victims in court. The Morris Family Justice Center also annually serves more than 400 adults, 40 children through its walk-in center for survivors of domestic violence, sexual assault, dating abuse, and human trafficking. For everything that you do for our county, I present you with this today. Thank you so much. Would you like to say a few words? If I could, that would be great. Can we bring up our staff? So that they could be part of this. Come on. <laughs> so I want to thank everyone for sporting their purple ribbons. October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month nationally. And so why is that important to us? And the statistics are really staggering, which is one in three women, one in seven men, and one in 14s are victims of domestic violence. And this Family Justice Center effort could not have been possible without the support of this community. And it really started back a few years ago with Kathy DeFilippo. Where are you? Right here. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Oh, there you are. And she really spearheaded efforts for us to use county government space and supported that and advocated that with the freeholders who were completely on board. We also had Prosecutor Knapp. I know that you're right here. here. And so him and his department, Tia, where are you? Um, really, in an ongoing effort, work to ensure that we provide the best case practice in the services that we're delivering. We also have Marcy McMahon, is she here today? She really advocated tirelessly to bring that model to Orange County. We have the Sheriff's Department, who was really fantastic because this past year, the Morristown Police Department, due to a lack of resources, had to pull their police presence from the Family Justice Center. And so what he did is he dedicated a sheriff's officer full time to actually provide that on site. And that's Stephanie, which does a, an amazing job. And who am I, who am I missing? More scares. Oh, we have a whole list of, yes. <laughs> we have a whole list of partners. So partners in our endeavor, can you hold that? Thank you include the Morris County Probation, Morris County Freeholders, Morris County Prosecutor's Office, Morris County Superior Court, Legal Services of Northwest Jersey, Morris County Organization for Hispanic Affairs, Morris County Sheriff's Office, Morris County Bar Foundation, and Morris Cares. So without this group coming together on a regular basis to support and advocate for victims of domestic violence, the center would not be possible. So that and all of the hard work of our staff on a daily basis that do that frontline work, we're able to counteract the issue of domestic violence. So thank you so much. What I wanted to say was first I want to recognize uh, people from my office who are here today who are really dedicated to fighting domestic violence. First, we have Chief Assistant Prosecutor Maggie Calderwood, who supervises all of our tactical units, including domestic violence. Tia Monacchio, who everyone knows, Tia has been the leader of our uh, domestic violence unit for years. Why don't you come up, Tia? And of course, Tom Zelanti, our, our first assistant, who, who is uh, just a tremendous support for all of our functions in the office, especially family, uh, the Family Justice Center, and Michelle Leone. Michelle sitting there quietly, probably has to run back to court. Uh, one of our victim witness advocates who's really uh, significantly uh, involved with fighting domestic violence. As the freeholder, uh, Deputy Director knows, is a practicing attorney who handles family matters and uh, municipal court matters. Now this is something that is, is inc incredibly important 
uh, in our community and throughout the, the country. Uh, we, you know, have a, a dedicated uh, support for the Family Justice Center. Those of you who don't know, probably everybody does, but I'll say it anyway. Just downstairs in the fourth floor to my, to my left is a Family Justice Center. Uh, we work very, very closely with them. This is a one-stop shopping for anyone who's a victim of, of domestic violence can walk in. Uh, it doesn't really matter where they're from in the county. They can start here and get all the resources they need. It's actually an absolutely tremendous, tremendous resource. And we were the second in the state. Now I think there's five? Four. Four. So it's a, it's a great tribute to Morris County and to the people up here who support uh, the fight against domestic violence. I want to thank you very much, uh, Deputy Director, and the entire Freeholder Board for this great uh, recognition. Thank you. I just like to say that it is tremendous having these partnerships and being a part of something that's great. And I really mean that as the prosecutor says, you know, we've we've seen a transformation in domestic violence laws, and there's always room for improvement, as we all know. But I came from the old days, there was limited domestic violence laws, and sadly enough, there were people that were murdered. Um, many people in this county were murdered. Um, and uh, were abused and um, didn't get the proper attention. And now I'm very um, happy to say that although tragedy still occurs, that people can come into that Family Justice Center and have one-stop shopping, whether they're children that are witness to it or abused themselves or, uh, or their adults. And I've stepped in quickly here. You couldn't pick a better person she comes credentialed from an educational perspective in psychology and criminal justice and minor in Spanish uh, to being a local police officer in Tennessee for five years, and then she worked in our correctional facility uh, for some time. Then she came on board in the Bureau of Law Enforcement. I feel very comfortable as the sheriff of Morris County to have her represent me every day in there, uh, providing for a safe environment for people so they can get the services that they deserve. So. Um, Thank you for the opportunity to be a part of something great like this and, and partner with the prosecutor and everybody here. It's uh, certainly a tremendous, um, tremendous things are happening. So if you know somebody, please feel free to report. I referred someone in the last few months myself um, and the woman couldn't stop calling me. She still calls me and says what a great experience she has. You know? So you see it live and uh, really making a difference. Thanks for making a difference. Thank you.